Hello and welcome to our 10th video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we will explain the function and working of each automotive sensors in detail. Today we're diving into the world of vehicle safety, specifically, the ABS wheel speed sensor explained with an animation. By the end of this video, you'll know how it works and why it's so important for your car's performance. So let's get started. First things first, let's understand what ABS means. ABS stands for Anti-Lock Braking System. This system helps prevent your wheels from locking up during hard braking, especially on slippery roads. It keeps your car stable and helps you steer while braking. Now at the heart of the ABS system is the wheel speed sensor. This tiny component plays a big role in how your car reacts when you brake. The wheel speed sensor consists of three main parts. 1. Sensor itself. 2. Magnetic ring. 3. Connector. Let's break down each component. The sensor is usually made of Halifax technology. It generates a voltage signal that changes as the wheel spins. When the wheel rotates, it passes by the magnetic ring, and this interaction creates a signal that tells the ABS system how fast the wheel is turning. Next up is the magnetic ring. This ring is attached to the wheel hub. As the wheel rotates, the magnetic ring spins with it. The sensor reads the changes in the magnetic field created by this ring. This is what allows the ABS system to monitor wheel speed. Finally, we have the connector. This connects the sensor to the car's main computer or ABS module. It transfers the signals generated by the sensor to the ABS system, so it can make real-time decisions. Now let's see how these parts work together. When you press the brake pedal, the ABS system receives the wheel speed signals from the sensors. If it detects that a wheel is about to lock up, it automatically reduces brake pressure to that wheel. This rapid pulsing allows the wheel to keep turning, maintaining control of the vehicle. Why is this important? Well, without a functioning ABS wheel speed sensor, your ABS system won't work properly. This can lead to longer stopping distances and less control, especially in emergencies. The location of the ABS wheel speed sensor can vary depending on the make and model of your vehicle but it is generally found near the wheel hub or on the brake caliper or near the rear axle. On some vehicles, look for a small cylindrical component near the axle. Common issues with wheel speed sensors include dirt buildup, wiring problems, or even damage from road debris. If your ABS light is on, it's a good idea to get your sensors checked. Driving without a functioning ABS sensor is not advisable. You will still have brakes, but the ABS system won't engage, increasing the risk of wheel lockup especially on slippery surfaces. This can lead to loss of control and longer stopping distances. Common symptoms of a bad wheel sensor include ABS warning light, always the first indication, traction control light, this may also illuminate alongside the ABS light, inconsistent ABS performance, the ABS may not activate when needed, speedometer issues, in some vehicles a faulty ABS sensor can affect the speedometer reading, braking problems, such as extended stopping distances or unstable braking. You can perform a simple test using a multimeter. 1. Disconnect the sensor. Ensure the car is off. 2. Set the multimeter to resistance. Measure the sensor's resistance. The reading should typically be within a specific range. Consult your manual for values. A reading of infinite resistance suggests a broken sensor. You can also check for a voltage signal while the wheel is spinning but this requires a bit more expertise. That's it for today's tutorial. Now you know how the ABS wheel speed sensor works and its importance in your car. Our next video in the series will be on fuel pressure sensor. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more automotive tips. Safe driving and see you next time.